Hello everyone. In this video tonight, I'd like to ask a question to our 52 playing cards. Is this person jealous of you? Is this person jealous of you? I have five different playing card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four, and five. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person or persons and choose a deck or decks. And take your time, please. Okay, so have you chosen your deck? Let's start then. Let's see if this person is jealous or not. And why? Okay, this is our deck number one. It's the Stargazer Tarot de uh, playing card deck by Bicycle. And it's like this. Is this person jealous of you? Is this person jealous of you? Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting here, we have money, work, we have some sort of growth. Like, you know, I feel in this case, I don't feel jealousy as such. I don't feel jealousy, but I feel like an expectation here. Like the person wants something from you. Like they want um, something from you, like something small. It can be related with work. Like maybe they want a wage or a pay or, or something like that. Maybe they were thinking, expecting something. They didn't get it. Now they want it. What do they want? What are they expecting? Well... Okay, so I'm here, I'm getting that maybe what do they want from you, what do they want. It can be that um, they want some, they have some bitter feelings about bitter feelings, like they didn't get something. It can be actually quite financial in some cases. It can be that money, they, you promised them money, let's say, and you didn't give it back. And uh, they were expecting this thing that you will give them will change something in their life for the better, you know. And you didn't give them, so they feel that they deserve it or something. Now, I'm getting also hidden, maybe, feelings regarding love. Like, um, or it can be also something for the house like something for the family you know like to buy something for the family or or something for the family so what is advice for you how to ease their jealousy how to ease their feelings well i'm not saying it's jealousy it's more like bitter feelings and uh sad not sadness but like look at her or him they didn't uh, do what I thought they would or what they promised to do because in the beginning they were pretty I think happy about all this thing but then later we have this disappointment like like they've invested in you and you didn't give them back what you should do here well here I think it shows that there is like owning them, like you feel now that you owe them something. Like there is a feeling of guilt with this nine of space and feeling. And there is something you can do about this. Yeah, there is something you can do and I think uh, offer love to this person, offer forgiveness, give them something, involve them in your life that 
sort of feeling like forgiveness, friendship, uh, some sort of gathering, invite them to some sort of gathering or something. So be nice to them. It might actually heal their feelings towards you if they have any bad feelings. Because this card is like a very good card, yes, when people are friends. Okay, so this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two now. Okay, and this is our reading number two, deck number two, and it's a deck by US Games. And it's, I think, Civil War deck or some army battle deck. I can't remember exactly the name. Okay, so the question is, is this person jealous of you? Why and what to do? Okay, is this person jealous of you? No, this person is happy for you. I'm getting this person is happy for you. Um, you know, we have a financial stability. We have money coming in. And uh, we have overall happiness here. Like uh, they are joyful even for you. Like they are super joyful for you. So why do you have this idea that they are jealous of you? Okay, so definitely something happened. Uh, something happened and it's related with... Uh, I don't know, money, gifts, credit cards, something like that. And we have a male person here. Someone said something, someone ignored something, someone did something, yeah. So when we have this king of spades, we, we tend to think about a rude person, maybe rude remark or something like that, like very... Um, in a bad place at the wrong time, that sort of feeling. Maybe like you offered them something with love and they turned away from you and you thought, why is that? Are they jealous? You know, because you cannot find any reason. So why did they do that? You know, so I'm here I'm feeling not nothing bad, to be honest. There was something else going on. There was not because of you, because of some third person. Maybe you were in, in a room with uh, another people. Maybe you were in a car with another people. And uh, so I'm feeling, you know, threes is like um, adding some other people in this whole context. So it c could have been... Because of that situation or place that, you know, this happened, that they behaved that way. And that's why you thought that they were jealous of you, which they weren't. Because I'm getting that um, they're happy for you. Glad, yeah. And, of course, so we have three cards that have three, oh, you know, three is like three of hearts, three of clubs, three of spades. So it talks, so you can talk about others also, other people, something with other people, like uh, other people said or other people did or other people were there. So, you know, that sort of situation. Uh, maybe it's, um, you got money through, through, you, you were three of you, let's say three three people were there or a group of people and let's see you got the money they didn't someone said something but they personally they are just happy for you okay so this was our reading number two now let's move on to our reading number three this is our deck number three and it's deck called fleur de lis by bicycle
The question is, is this person jealous of you? Why and what to do? Is this person jealous of you? Well, here we have maybe, maybe a jealousy, because, uh, you know, we have two men here, two men, and we have three people, uh, maybe a love triangle, maybe uh, other people's interests, um, so here I would say yes, uh, this person, one person is very interested in relationship with you I would say one person is very interested the other person maybe has that relationship yeah so I think that this person might be jealous if it's a male person especially because this person is looking at this card this is your love and this man might be uh, the one who's with you right now okay so why are they jealous although it looks like because they want uh, to be with you but let's see let's see what the cards have to say why are they jealous well yeah i would say he's interested in in a relationship with you they might be interested in a relationship with you some sort of exchange Okay, so um, if this people's, you know, relationship, so I'm now, if this is a relationship with a man, yeah, if you're asking about a man, at first I was saying that they are jealous because of a relationship with a man. Uh, now when I ask why are they jealous, I'm actually getting that uh, some sort of, they're jealous of some sort of relationship. Uh, like they want a relationship, but I'm also getting uh, here a different story now. I'm getting that um, this might be jealousy over work, but that work might be esoteric. It might be uh, spiritual, something like that. It's a work where you basically use your intuition to to basically work. And maybe you got a job in that, because two kings, it means um, like a success and a contract signed, you know. And this person is uh, jealous of this particular work that you got. It, it's a, If it's a creative work or spiritual work, let's see. So for me, um, I think uh, it can be that sort of thing also. What can you do to make this person jealous less? Maybe, oh, you know, I'm getting that you can involve them in this work. If they want it, you can invite them and ask them to join where you are, you know, what you're doing if they really want that. Uh, basically, look at them positively, it says. Look at them with best intentions that you can look. Um, and I think it can say, can talk about inviting them to, to do the same thing that you're doing that they're jealous of. Basically, you're jealous means you want it. So come and join us. That sort of thing. Now, I don't think it talks about relationships anymore. It can be a relationship also and a job also. Not a very big something, but uh, I feel still they can join this thing, something like that. Because we had the two of clubs and now we have three of clubs. One more person joined this project or work or something like that. Okay. Whoops, we have this card falling. It's a, a big decision, basically. It's a big decision you have to make. Okay, so let's move on to our deck number three now. Is it three or is it four? 
Mm, I think it's four. Okay. This is our deck number four. Is the Art Masterpieces deck by Katnik. And the question is, is this person jealous of you? Can be man or woman, anybody. Is this person jealous of you? Why and what to do? Well, here I would say they might be jealous here. I'm getting that the person wants something real bad. I'm getting that the person wants something uh, like to attract something or do something. It can be a little bit of a passionate wish. It can be that you got something that the person wanted exactly. That you got something that was exactly what they were after. And you know, the Queen of Spades is always a little bit of a, how to say, um, it has a negative aspect in it. Okay, so um, I would say yes, there is jealousy. Because of this person's passion, because of their wish, they had a wish. Now, why are they jealous? What is it that makes them jealous? Well, it's basically success and it's money and it's uh, joining some sort of group or doing some sort of project. Again, it's a little bit of a... You know, they see you as very rich. They see you as wearing good clothes, wearing good jewelry. Maybe uh, they see you as getting maybe finance, finances quite... Uh, not much, but maybe something about the way you get those finances. They actually... Uh, um, are jealous kind of that. So I would say they're jealous of the social standing of the little bits, bits and pieces in a society that you go about and how that little luck, I would say that you have luck or something with money, especially with people, but especially with money and things that you can buy or maybe your intelligence in some cases also. So what can you do, you know, to ease their jealousy? How can you do to help them release that jealousy? Or how to deal yourself with it? Well, here I'm getting basically what to do with it. We have a king of diamonds coming in and it's important it's an important person here maybe he's your husband because it's the same suit like you uh, so I'm kind of getting how can you ease her jealousy is something through your partner that it can be done, you know. Through telling them something to tell her, maybe. Through, uh, basically, I'm feeling like nothing here you cannot do because of the black cards. It's like you cannot do anything. Because the cause is the man. Because it's not your problem, it's because of him. Maybe he talks to her and then she's jealous to you. Like maybe it's not a direct thing. But you to stop that, you need to get into this man's head and to help them stop it. You know, I don't know even how to put it. These cards talk about... This card, Ace of Spades, is about the head and the subconscious of this person. Now, this person, I think, is your husband or your partner. Someone that you're legally in a relationship with. Or should be, basically. And either he is drunk and talking to her something. Or it says that when he is drunk, you should tell him something. But through his head. I definitely don't advise to manipulate people. But it's... Um,
preoccupy the male, preoccupy the male, message him, talk to him. So it's through a man. Yeah, it's through talking to him, through being social with him, through basically you can um, maybe stop um, tell him to stop telling her about you or something like that. So we get the situation here. Now let's move on to our last reading and let's have a look what does it have to say. This is our deck number five and it's the Bourbon uh, deck by Bicycle. It's about the drink Bourbon and it's made for that. Okay. Is this person jealous? Why? And what can you do to help them or help yourself to avoid this jealousy? Sometimes it acts like, uh, like a bad eye, like a how to say, is this person jealous of you? Well, I'm not getting that they're jealous. I'm getting that they want you or they love you. We're getting that sort of feeling, big wish, big wish. Maybe they want you. Maybe they like you, maybe they love you, that sort of thing. It's basically so big that sometimes maybe it can seem that, what is this, you know, is it jealousy or what? If it's a male person, it can be that they want you as a person. If it's a female person, it can mean that they, she likes you. And sort of like you are their example or something like that. Maybe they want to be like you or have things like you, but not because they're jealous, but because they're happy to, f uh, to have found a person like you with whom they can share these, uh, whom they can follow, basically, something like that. Now, now um, why do they feel this way about you? So we have very miserable cards. So we can say that in their life, <clears throat> they were not having it very easy. Maybe um, this person was depressed or ill or weak at some point. Maybe they had some losses happening in their life. And um, so basically, maybe you're like a contrast to the dark things that they've experienced, you know, and you're basically different and they look they like to look at you they like to basically forget about their daily life they like to forget about the problems that they have and they like to look at the people who are doing well who are doing better maybe looking better or talking better you know just to lift themselves up a bit now what is the advice for you? How to go about the situation? How to make this work? Or how to make the situation kind of harmonious for yourself and that person? If it's troubling you, I mean, this behavior. Well, definitely. Only uh, be positive towards this person. Love that person. Um... I would say look at them positively. Don't look at them like they want something bad from you. Look at them like they're a friend. If they are the opposite sex, look at them as um, also someone good and nice. Someone who likes you. Also, who's attracted to you. It can be someone who maybe wants good for you, yeah? And uh, and I think it's safe here to actually uh, um, grow this relationship to, you know, take it to the next level and things like that. Like introduce this person to your family or something. And uh, like uh, look how 
much can you invest in this relationship, you know, how much can you, because I'm seeing you should love this person, basically, you should love them as much as you can, trust this person, and plan for the best for this person, something like that, like, you have, should, you should be ambitious about this success of this relationship, that's the sort of thing that I'm getting here, okay, so this was our reading number five. I don't know how accurate was this. Please share in your comments. How did you find this reading? Was it any helpful? Was it any accurate or not? And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time. So have a great night. Have a great day. And bye-bye.